Ah, good afternoon, so I'm here with a new pistol, one of the two I got from Solway the other day. Um, this is the uh, Bursa BP9CC, it's a replica of an Argentinian uh, compact uh, concealed carry pistol. BB shooter, blowback, um, CO2 goes in the back here, so you've got a little button here you press up and it takes the back off, okay. It's a weighted back as well, it helps when the CO2 goes in there and actually toggles tight. It's a float as well so it's easy to do up tight. And you just basically put that back in like so and then just push that button in lock it in and it's a really nice fit and finish see okay now the safety on this is at the back so that's in the fire position there's a little arrow on it it points up and you turn it down and that's put the safety on okay now this is co2 in obviously it doesn't have any bbs in it because it's an actual metal stick magazine okay so it's loaded up with 20 umrex bbs so we can dry fire this in any respect so we're going to put the safety off and you'll see you need to single action only, so you need to cut the slide, okay, let go of it. So that's the hammer cocked. Now you'll see the pull, it goes quite all the way back and it fires. So it's a very uh, consistent, yeah, very consistent. Um, on the last shot, I'll see it holds open. You've got your hold open lever there, okay. You see the detail is really nice. Um, it's got obviously branded on the side. I don't know if you can see this in the light, it's not very good light today. This is 9 by 19 on the actual ejection port. Uh, you've got branding also on the grip as well. Really nice, really nice compact pistol. So what we're going to do, we're going to take, uh, I've got 20 rounds of, um, of steel Umerix BBs and I'm going to take, um, I think what I'll take, I'll take five at the freestanding at 10 yards, um, 10 at the target at 12 and a half metres, and then the other five we'll take at the three cans, um, which have just been blown up by the wind. So it is obviously a bit windy today as well. Always seems to be around here. So what we'll do, we'll take uh, yeah uh, five freestanding, yeah, and then we'll zoom in on the 12 mm target. And take 10 there. So the stick magazine, yeah, you've got your BBs going there. It's got a big loading gate. So you need to put your finger over the back and then drop them in. Yeah, this locks down. Release it. Make sure you release it before you put it in. Goes in really nicely. Nice and solid. Yeah, and then you just need to cock the slide and then it's single action only. So here we go. Uh, five shots first. See how accurate this is? One more thing. Okay, that's five shots there. The shot pretty quick, it's not very warm today. So we're going to zoom in on the uh, 12 and a half meter target. I'm going to put 10 into that, hopefully. 12 and a half meters out, freestanding. Right, that's the tin. <coughs> it's starting to tighten up there. So what we'll do, we'll go to the tins. I've got five shots left. The wind has actually blown one over, so I shall pop down there and set that back up. Uh, put it on back on top and see if we can actually hit them. Uh, it's got a really nice trigger blade, this, wide as well. It's good for your finger. Fingers feels really nice, nice blowback, nice and solid. So that's shortly. Right, so we've got five shots left. These cans are at 15 meters. Uh, not sure exactly the aim point, but we're going to try and knock them down from top to bottom. So here goes. 
probably aim near the top of the can probably. I think I had the top of the can actually. Okay, let's aim at the bottom of the can. Ah, give me that hit. Let me get the final one. Yep, I aimed it just, uh, just below the top bridge of the can. So we've got one sort of semi standing to the left. I think I've got one shot left, so see if we can hit it. Nope, missed it. I'm not sure how close. We'll uh, review the video. I said it is very blustery down there. That's 15 meters out with BBs. So it locks back like that. Final shot, see? So we've got the magazine, that's the magazine release there. Pop your stick out, it's empty. Release the actual thing. Now, if you fire this off, it'll just recock really itself because obviously the CO2's in there. You know what I mean? So you're better off just putting the safety on it. Yeah, and that disables the trigger. So yeah, you can't actually, because the CO2 is built in, you can't actually um, just fire the action off. It just recocks itself, being single action. So yeah, this is a really nice pistol. Uh, I think uh, they're about between 100 and 130 UK. I think I paid, I paid 130. Uh, could have got it cheaper, but unfortunately they were out of stock at another company. But yeah, really nice. It's an AASG uh, pistol. Like I said, really nice weight. The quality is really good. The fit and finish, the actual slide fit and finish is really nice. There's hardly any movement in it. And uh, we'll be able to see the video um, later on where they hit the 12 and a half meter. In fact, I'll go and bring those targets up. We'll have a closer look. So you know, leave the safety on in my pocket and we'll go and bring those targets up and have a closer look at them. Right, so the five shots we took at 10 yards, three of your free standing. Um, you've got four here, yeah, and one down here. Um, I was shooting it pretty quickly, it's very cold, so that might have been the way it, it just dropped off, if possible. Uh, so yeah, there's four there, which is pretty good. That's about a, I don't know, inch and a half, yeah, group of those four free standing. I reckon with a bit of practice and shooting it slower, it'd be a tighter group. At 12 and a half meters, again, we've got, I knew one missed, uh, so there's one, two, three, uh, one, two, hit the light. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's right, nine. They were missed. So you got one, two, three, four. You got five there in that group there. Yeah, one over here, and there's three down here. Okay. So yeah, it's shooting slightly to the to the left. Yep, yeah, by the looks of it. Looks like just by that target and this target, it is shooting slightly to the left. It could be the wind. The wind is blowing around quite a lot. Uh, it always always is around here. So yeah, I think uh, shoot this a bit more. First time I've shot it outdoors, and I think with a bit of practice, I can get some nice tight groups. Just shoot it a bit slower. Um, good thing about this though, which is very impressive actually. I have put it through the crony. It's doing one point over twenty shots. By the way, it's averaging uh, one point five five foot pounds energy, which is quite decent for a, um, a small blowback. Because uh, I've only got a short barrel to get. Um, the barrel obviously goes from there to there, yeah. So it's only what uh, two, half, three inches maybe max. Um, so we well, consider that, but it's doing 1.5 foot pounds energy, 1.55 foot pounds. Energy. But interestingly, it's actually doing five mags, five full mags. That's a hundred shots before the CO2 drops off. And I've tried it twice, and it seems to be doing yeah, a hundred shots. To get a hundred shots out of a blowback is pretty unusual actually, I, think, I don't know if I've got any blowbacks that will do that many shots. You know, they might do three max of uh, 18 shots, about 50 odd shots and the blowback stops. But yeah, the, the slide, the, I mean the actual quality of this is really, really good. I mean, if I was recommending a compact blowback BB shooter, yeah, yeah, this, I, the only thing is I don't believe it feels strippable, but hey, does, do you really need feel strippable? But if you want a nice compact uh, shooter, um, obviously it appears to be reasonably accurate even in my hands, I mean I know I was tightening up a bit when I was shooting out to 12 and a half, but if I shot it slower I'm, I'm almost certain this thing will group 
tighter and I'll probably get those 10 shots at least inside an inch and a half at, at 12 and a half meters which is which is good yeah even though it is quite blustery today so I hope you like that outdoor shooting review uh, and uh, yeah it's a real good quality uh, pistol really impressed with it certainly impressed with the shot count certainly impressed with its accuracy uh, feel uh, its operation in fact just everything about this pistol is really nice and I know it's been around for quite a long time I was toying with the idea of getting one of these many many years ago so it's not a brand new pistol the uh, so it's called the Bursa uh, BP9CC uh, and it's from ASG so hope you like the video thanks for watching